Well, hello, Steph. Hi, Craig. Can you hear me okay? Because, you know, you're on my Bluetooth headset right now. Microphone's not the best. Hello, hello. We made Houston. We made it. We made here a lot earlier than I thought. Hey, Maria. I am doing a live on my phone. Like, never have I ever. Um, I know most people do them on their phone, but it's new to me, guys. New to me. So I'm just going through my... Um, bag because I'm switching over to my little tiny wallet. Well, not my tiny wallet, my tiny bag. I'm moving my wallet over. Um, yay! Hi, everybody! Hello, hello! I need to charge these. And... So what was I going to do? Let's see. Hi, everybody! Hey, Dee Dee Bain! I know, it's me live at 9 o'clock at night. Is the volume okay? Just say yes Somebody say yes, because uh, it sounds weird to me because I just hear muffly, muffly, because it's noise canceling headphones, and I'm talking to myself. <laughs> hey, Keith, thank you for showing up. You know, I'm just moving stuff around, but we just got to the hotel. We are in this really cool, um, yes, yes, everybody can hear me. Yes, hey, Debbie, hey, Robin, hey, everybody, because um, I'm on my phone. This is new new for me um but i'm moving stuff over to this um my phone my phone bag because um i'm just gonna be hanging here at the hotel the drive guys i have never had the fastest easiest drive in my life well yeah i nap for 30 minutes james drove but you know um houston's not exactly an easy drive from where we're at because we're coming from like the austin area but um thing is good friday i guess everybody's where they wanted to be already because we didn't have traffic it was awesome i'm like i hope easter when we go drive home it's just as it's, it's just as nice um nope i'm actually just moving um my um uh, wallet into this bag because i'm just going to be bouncing around the hotel tomorrow we're in this um long stay suite uh my it's a hilton property my our friends who were visiting he um he's in this hotel i thought we we're in this hotel and uh so i just got we just got into the hotel and i am trying to organize so i i took this tote guys my new favorite tote the bell bell point bell pont bell something bell something um or ball point ball po the ball point ball port something bag whatever polo ralph lauren is awesome and then i brought my little vivian bag this has my um diabetic testing strip stuff and then so normally i'm gonna put this over here these are my sunglasses i don't really use this unless i'm driving um let me see if i can get this i want to see if i can get more of my chats visible uh nope apparently not share that's not what i want to do I've never heard anyone say Houston. Oh gosh, Craig, that's because it's not easy. And we went through. Okay, we're but, okay. We're on the other side of Houston. We're used to Houston. Like it is bumper to bumper traffic going 80 miles an hour. But we hit. We missed rush hour because we. I mean, I thought we were gonna hit it. We didn't. I'm like, what the heck? But today is a holiday for a lot of people. Not us, but a lot of other people. Um, so I think a lot of other people were just where they wanted to be, and they were just like, we're not there. I mean, and we went through 10 to 45. So this is like the heart. We went through the heart, and then we went, skirted down over to Galveston area, because we're, we're kind of New York, NASA. Um, we're near, we're going to be coming kind of driving back through here again anyway. James, where's my car key? I think I've been abandoned. Let me give you a tour. Let's see if I can change the camera. Nope, change the camera. Board game we brought, guys. So we brought this board game to play. Yeah, we kickstarted it. Um, so this is the TV we'll probably never turn on. Um, there's the other part of the room. So. This is home away from home. It's kind of cool though, cause look, we have um, like this is my llama bag, and this is James's Star Wars bag. But look, we have a full kitchen. 
it's one of those um, home sweets so it works out real well um, that wallpaper is making me crave some Swiss cheese <laughs> it is some yellow right but we're right next to the lobby Mr. Watson did not come with us. He was supposed to come with us, but our Auntie Caitlin is babysitting. So my friend, who we were watching their shepherd, her shepherd, she um, said, hey, I'll watch, I'll watch um, Watson for you. I really think she just wanted Watson's time, to be honest, because Watson's a cuddle pug, and her shepherd is not a cuddle pug, or shepherd. Shepherds aren't cuddly. Oh, I have both keys here. What's this room number? Hey, I'm going to take the one with the um, number on it, James, because mm -hmm. I, I will forget my um, room number, although I shouldn't. We're right next to the lobby. I gave everybody a quick tour. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Watson, Watson did come, but he, um, he, he's having a great time with Auntie Caitlin. He's having a blast, but the whole reason I brought this little bag is so I could put this card key in here and yes it's a Hilton property um, there's a lot of them so anyway there that's ready for tomorrow and because uh, I'll be going to oh and look they had complimentary apples uh, I love apples I really wanted um, uh, Craig says hi James hi <laughs> James says hi uh, yeah it's lots of space this is right this is the first room from the lobby which is the best setup ever because for me um, I never sleep well on a ever so um, it's just I can just get up and go out to the lobby and get coffee at who knows what time because I always wake up way before James James stays up later he sleeps in later and I always wake up at some crazy hour and I'm like and in a hotel they always have coffee um, roughly around 5 a.m. Yeah, before then, you're kind of out of luck. But we do have um, a coffee maker in the room. I just never like using them. I prefer, yep, Granny Smith. I prefer the, I also brought ramen and microwavable popcorn. And I think that's all we brought. Because I don't think we're really planning on leaving the hotel. Um, because, oh, <laughs> are we at Disney? No, we're not. We're actually just in Houston. We're kind of near NASA. James' is a cool little bag he had to share. Um, it has a llama on it. It has a llama on right. it. It's called... It's an alpaca. Oh, an alpaca. It's called... Um, what are they called? Coach... Cotopax. Cotopax. Yeah. Um, is that a packing cube or something? Oh. Or just a storage thing? Um, this is my cup. This is this is a swig cup. Swig. Very cool cup. Um, it's been very useful. I love Hilton. I always stay at one of the Hilton's family hotels hotels um yeah this is just a regular room uh we originally were just, and they're they're pet friendly which is what we were looking for hey well the hey wallet hello hello um oh yeah i'm i'm happy to be streaming i was like watching youtube driving into houston like this is so boring nobody was going live and i'm like somebody needs to go live i mean i'm just watching it's like, what's everybody doing today? <laughs> uh, where are you on a cruise? No, we're, hey, Winnie, we're at Houston. We're just visiting. James's bestie is working in Houston. He lives in Virginia, and he came down to Houston for a job, and he has to weekend off. It's Easter weekend, of course. So we're like, okay, well, we'll drive over, and we'll hang out with you. So we have a board game, and we're going to hang out with him. We'll probably be playing the board game all day tomorrow and then drive home on Sunday. Just what? <laughs> Watching your live stream. Thank you uh, from yesterday. Hey, Dawn's Donuts. Um, hey, everybody. So what's everybody else doing? I mean, this is one of those, like, you know, it's Good Friday. I've been saying that all day because I think it's funny. It's like, it's a Good Friday. It's always a Good Friday. Friday is always a good day. I'm trying to figure out. I did not bring my phone of stand because I didn't really actually think I'd be going live. And then... Turn this the other way. Would that matter? Oh, James brought his phone stand. Thank you, James. My, uh, Is it powered? Yeah. That's the docking. Yeah. I think it'll stay. I think it'll stay. 
Well, the problem is, is because of how my phone charges. Sorry, guys. We're getting all kinds of movement going on here. Um, that's better. We'll we'll do this until my phone tells me there's no no more battery. Um, <laughs> in the depth of tedium. <laughs> Oh, when you're drinking fiber filled drinks is, is, oh gosh, Winnie, I can't drink. My grandmother used to drink Metamucil, and I'm like, how do you drink that? Um, thank God I'm so bored. I know, right? I was bored too. I was like, oh my gosh, somebody go live in that room as yellow as it looks. Yes, it is. It's literally like, it's, it's yellow and like neon green curtains. It, I like it. Uh, it's very, um, warm inviting friendly i'm gonna eat this apple but if it's too loud let me know so i'll stop eating the apple if it's too chewy um jackie how are you doing on the project bag yeah i haven't to pick it up <laughs> i'm still looking at it i have to do it when inspiration strikes i should have brought it with me honestly um sick of watching little house on the prairie vids oh my gosh <sighs> My sister can watch Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman on repeat. I'm like, I cannot watch another episode of this. Can we do anything else but this? But she loves it. I was sitting here like, should I, should I shop? No. Okay. Full confession times of a shopaholic. My 10-day streak might have been broken today, but that's okay. Tomorrow's a new day. You'll start all over again. It is okay. Um, it is every day is a struggle. Today was a struggle. <laughs> Today was a very big struggle. Um, but I did sell a bag too, and uh, I'm I'm happy with that. Yeah. So yeah, I did make some progress on the the journey tote bag. I haven't made any promise on my Dooney and Burke tote bag, or barrel bag that I'm working on. I have two project bags um, to bring a bag to. Oh yeah, I'm still taking bags to close mentor. Yeah, totally. Um, and hey, the guy who sold, who bought my bag, watched my video. He actually followed me on Instagram, and he's a pretty much a full time reseller. He's very his name's I think it's Elliot's Closet. He does a lot of vintage. He's out of Oklahoma, so he followed me, and I followed him, and then I watched his stuff, and then he watched my stuff, and then he bought my bag. I'm like, whoa! I love his stuff. I can't afford it. <laughs> his stuff is expensive. Um, but he, goals, we all have goals, right? One minute, his time, what did you, oh, what did I buy? I'm not confessing. <laughs> I'm not confessing, Winnie. <laughs> I did not shop today, and I'm pretty proud of myself. Way to go, Don! You know, well behaved while I'm going to, over to my friend's house tomorrow to help with with her declutter. It's hard. It's emotionally very hard. Every time I've helped my sister try to declutter, she talks to me. Uh, we end up arguing. I tell her, get rid of it. She's like, but, 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 but. Cause she's, I purge. And, and you see my stuff. I'm a purger and my sister is a hoarder. Like literally keeps everything. My grandparents did it. My dad did it. It's that whole, like, you might need it. Like really, why do you need 50 containers empty containers of yogurt. I didn't even know almonds came in any other way other than in a margarine container because my grandparents used margarine and they saved all the containers and they put almonds in them. Every morning on the breakfast table there was a container of almonds. What's your bag today? Well I have, oh my god it's so hard to declutter. Yeah it is. Have you made it to a second star? I don't know about stars. Hey, Miss Jelly. I'm reading teeny tiny little text on my phone, so it's much harder than it looks. Uh, my credit card leaves my hand and slaps. <laughs> That's funny. So this is the bag I took to work today. It was this beautiful tote that I love and dearly. Um, I moisturized it yesterday, and it needs probably one or one or two more coats. It will be softer, but I'm going to be using. This one with my um, room key, and uh, so I shuffled some stuff around. Second Street, have you made it to second to a Second Street? I don't know what Second Street is. <laughs> Sorry, um, 
other than it's after first and before third. <laughs> Is that a thing here in Houston? We're over near NASA. Hey, Grace. It's probably really loud, isn't it? I am in Houston, guys. Hey, we just started. Yeah. Apple. They gave it to me at the hotel lobby. And they wrap it in saran wrap now. Yeah. My day was long, everybody. Show us your jewelry. So this is my wrist. So I have my, all of my beads. Most of them are not Pandora. Don't get too excited. Pandora is just really expensive. So a lot of these are off brand. Um, this is a handmade, um, hand forged sterling silver. This is Navajo, Navajo, this one right here. These two are Pandora. This is also Navajo right here. Um, this is Pandora. This is James Avery. This is, what is this, Effie? These two are Effie. Um, this is just a cool bracelet I found in um, TJ Maxx. <laughs> that apple uses protection. Uh, yeah, the hand forged bracelet. This one is from, I think his name is Patrick Marvos. He is really, it's very cool. It's gone up in price so much, I can't afford to buy it now. I could barely afford to buy it when I bought it. Um, and it's just gone up and up and up and up. Because it literally is just hand forged. Um, I have a foot on an island and one firmly still in the boat. Pan Island. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Um, do you sleep with your... Oh, yeah, I sleep with all this on. Rings, all of it. Nothing. My earrings. Yeah. My necklace. I don't... I'm used to it. If I had to take all of this off every night, I would never um, remember to put it back on. No, I sleep with everything. I'm, I'm so used to the weight, I actually would feel confused if it's not on me. Um, like, And it's like, it's heavy. <laughs> Question, what's the most expensive valuable item you own? Uh, jewelry or item? Okay, let's throw the house out. I don't own it, the bank owns it, but we're, we, we're, we're co-owners. So, um, let's see. Probably like the 10 well i think it's eight thousand dollar grandfather clock but that's an estimated value it's not really like how do you value something that's a couple hundred years old you know it's all about the clock mechanisms but like it's an antique it's priceless you know but um sleep in everything but watch i, I sleep in my watch too um uh, my most expensive piece of jewelry before I sold it was like $3,000 and I sold it. I think it was $3,500. It was the most beautiful squash blossom from um, Native American turquoise. Absolutely gorgeous. It had appreciated in value to the point that I was, I think they sold it for $5,000 by the time I sold it because of the amount of silver work that was in it. But it was so heavy and I have neck disc issues, I couldn't wear it. And I have some other jewelry, but I can still kind of wear that those ones. Um, if you give up your, t <laughs> I'll have to. Um, I don't really have that many very expensive things. I have a lot of inexpensive things and just lots of them. I'm putting in my battery cable because I am paranoid. Um, let's try and do that again. Well, I don't like the way that is now. Ooh, that's better. How do I make it do that? I should have brought my uh, stand with me. Ah, that's okay. Well, no, don't, don't, don't tip over. Um, I'm here all week. Tip for, <laughs> tip for you. Uh, it was so weird yesterday. So Craig says, y'all, I used to sleep in my, your Alhambra really bracelet necklace until I woke up in the morning and my bracelet tangled in my hair and Oh, you had to cut out. Oh my gosh, Craig. Oh no. Yeah, it's going to be cricket. This is the way it's going to be. Um, 
See, I don't have the hair problem. Hey, Melissa, I did it 10 days without buying anything. Today I failed. Tomorrow's a new day. We start again. <laughs> we start again. I ruined a good pair of precious. Oh, I missed a good part at precisely 7.01. I ruined a good part at... I really don't know. I love artisan made. Me too. Most of my stuff is Navajo. Most of it's Sterling. Some of it's Hopi. I used to have a lot of Hopi, which is the same res. You know, they're kind of they're they're the, the nations are next to each other. Um, Hopi's just a smaller tribe, but I have a lot of Navajo, and um, oh, my work day was oh long. Good Friday was not the best. We were guys. Okay, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna rant a bit about work. So, we're working with live data. Data always has issues. If, if you do a job and everything's perfect, the first time you do it, there's something wrong somewhere. <laughs> because there's no way. <laughs> we spent two days, two days, um, working with this data. And by the end of it, my brain was numb. We, did, we, had, so, we had three different computers processing. And we just, and it's still going to have to work over the weekend. Um, oh, yeah, d ball behavior, well, data is always an issue. Yeah, it always, always an issue. Um, what? Oh, we have, do we have a troll? I haven't had one of those in a long time. Good catch, Craig. Especially live data. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I need a wrench. I can give you a wrench, Miss Jelly. Let's see. Um, how do I add? There we go. There you go, Miss Jelly. Wrench away. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, so work was like a, a nightmare and then, well, just because it's tedious, it's, it's, it's never fun. The person training, um, thanks for the pen, the person training, this is, we got some new pens, this is a really good pen. Um, I remember Hailey, oh, I need to remember I'm Hailey. <laughs> yes, I'm just happy you're um, hanging out with us. Um. <laughs> I didn't even see what that guy said, so I was too busy talking about my day. Pens, yes, this is a this is a um, Pilot G two O seven gel pen. This is a really nice pen. These um, are from A and M. These aren't the ones we just got. Oh, these are the ones that are from A and M. Yeah. Oh, James just gave me a precious A and M pen. Um, I love those, right? I love pens. Um, I still write things. I still write in notes. Um, what's the tip? Is it? It's a. It's a seven. I think it's a oh seven. So I think it's a. It's just a normal, not fine tip. Just a regular gel. I love the point three eight. Says Keith. I love pens. Oh my gosh! I found my people. Like. Pen, stationery, notebooks, papers. I still, I bought my phone, and this is this is another A and M pen. James wants me to share. This is his one of his precious A and M pens, and this is just a ink 0.7 millimeter R2 rollerball roller roll. Wait a minute, rollerball. This one. This one's okay. This one's okay. This one's better. And this one's really nice. This one's really nice. Um, I like my pens <laughs> thick. <laughs> you too, Winnie. I love pens. I love lists. <laughs> this is Keith. Um, haha. At least you know what making the ballpoint. Ah! Oh! Lynn! Oh, James. Lynn just tipped me $20. Thank Aww. you, Lynn. Uh, oh, oh, let, let me show you, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> 
this is why James is so excited, guys. So excited. Um, uh, Stargolite is actually my very good friend, Lynn. And uh, we are actually in Houston, Lynn. We are hanging out with Ken. Je Ken is James's bestie. And we have the Dune board game. And we are going to learn how to play it. We're going to do it all day tomorrow. That's what we're doing. So we came out here for Easter weekend because... Um, this is his last, one of his last um, uh, away posts before he retires from the Coast Guard. So, he, and he's, um, he works during the week, but on the weekend, they were kind enough to give him the weekend off. I know, right? Unfortunately, it's Easter weekend away from his family, but you know, whatever. So we came to visit. <laughs> yeah. Bold tip here, says Winnie. We're talking about pens. Both still own me a Dune 2 movie date. Yes, we do. Um, when are we going to fit that in, sir? Good question. Can we do that as a um, watch the movie at our house? <laughs> it might take that long. Uh, refine tip all day. Hey, everyone. Um, repeat, believe in Jesus. Hi, Chris. Um, good Friday to you, too. Um, I love smooth writing, ink pens, felt tips. Not like the felt tip. Really? I like a felt. You know what I really like? Pilot makes a fountain tip pen that is awesome. I love a fountain tip pen. I actually, I suck at calligraphy, but I try. Watching Cheese Sims. Have you, did you guys watch Cheese Christmas calligraphy? Oh my gosh, that man is talented when it comes to calligraphy. I'm like, wow. Um, Muji pens are your favorite. I don't know that one, Miss Jelly. I like bold tip. Um, louder and better, yeah. I'm down with that as long as we go to... Sure! Yeah, James, he says we can do a movie at our house as long as we get a load off fannies for wings. Yeah. Absolutely. We're, James says, cool, we're, we're down. Dab in a good... I'm not a huge fan of gel pens because they... I mean, I like them. They write really well. They really do. But my absolute favorite pen is a Pilot. Um, what the name? It's like a really cheap, large barrel pen. Fine-tipped. For you, it's not the ink, it's the handle. Yeah, it's the barrel that matters more to me. How... Because I write a lot um, and my hand gets tired uh, jet stream I think I've had a jet, a jet stream a pilots my favorite favorite brand zebra used to be one of my fav favorite brands Stabilo used to be one of my all-time favorite brands but now I just go with pilot um, I've been repent Begin to repent, you all gonna need to repent as well if you hear it. The issue with my car was that I replaced my tires. One of my low pressure sensors failed. Oh, we have a low pressure. We have a tire pressure that needs to be sensor needs to be replaced. I've had. Oops, I can't keep up, guys. I've had the same pen for almost 20 years now. Monk monk. Craig, how, how, I, I would aspire, aspire to have a pen for 20 years. I can't keep pens for 20 years. I lose pens all the time. I can't, I would love to have a Monk Monk pen. Just, I would like to have one of those Tiffany Sterling silver barrel pens, but you know, whatever. Um, pilot pens, um, Uniball Jetstream. Yes, I like that one. Bix okay. Bix always good. Um, try and Trude, uh, Monarch sits a uh, Uniball, and randomly it smooths for me. Um, Craig, my dad used to have the Monk Walk pens. I love a Monk Walk pen. I think they're gorgeous. Actually, a friend of mine was going to give me one, and she was, right? she's one of my besties. And she says, Jackie, if I give it to you, will you use it? Like, yes, I will use it, but I will lose it. Please don't give it to me. My mother has a gold pen like literally gold with diamonds um it's very it's very handsome it's not it's not gaudy at all um 
she says, Jackie, would you like this pen? I don't have much to give you. I've given your sister all these other things. Would you like this pen? I'm like, Mom, you love that pen. You signed million dollar contracts with that pen. I don't want to have, I will lose your precious pen. Keep your pen, Mom. <laughs> um, it's not that I don't love it. I appreciate it, but that is a gold and diamond pen and I will lose it. <laughs> um, what kind of agenda do you use as well behaved wallet? Ask you Craig. I uh, find somebody as smooth as writing on, I will snag it. I have a big thing for paperweight too. All what contract has your mom? My mom used to open a used to own a bus business, a bus tour business in the eighties in Thailand. So she bus tourism was huge then. It's still kind of huge still in Asia, but um, so she wrote contracts to get the loans for the buses and um, she was very successful. I can spend a fair amount of time in a pen section at, at Staples. Mm-hmm. Key to the room? I need to run out to the car. Oh. Uh, this one. Yes. Um, pen, plum paper, plum paper planner. <laughs> I'm a mom. I don't plan well. I like planners and I don't have planners. I have notebook covers with paper, just lined paper, and I'll write notes. I can't sit still to save my life. I fidget. Well behaved. Thanks, MM, is over 20 years ago. Wow. I actually traded away my um, LV agenda planner with um, DD Bean because Miss DD Bean loves planners, agendas, and she likes lists. And I hadn't used it. It really is too small. I need one that's like an A7. I think it's an A7 or 5. No, 7 because the A5 is too small. Um, I like. I also like a bound paper planner. Um, Steph, I really use the pen. And when I do my hand, yeah, hand cramps. That's my biggest problem. I need a bigger barrel. Um, I have a Filofax agenda that's about that old <laughs> man I remember Filofax <laughs> mm. I can't say that name the Dixon Tricon Dick I but they make the best pens take a dead Ron, oh, I don't know. It's a shape. I know it's a shape. Now I don't write out much since the fancy fridge. <laughs> That's so funny, Winnie. Because of your new fancy fridge, you don't have to write lists. It just tells you. Um, Dunhill, both fantastic agendas, too. Filofax and Dunhill. Yeah, I haven't heard of Dunhill in forever. Now, Filofax is a blast from the past. Um... Samsung, we can't stay awake. Oh, good night, Don Stonas. Thank you for showing up. Um, who knows how long we're gonna be here? Um, yes, the pencils. I love their pencils. Um, they have some. Those pencils are really good. My sister's as a teacher. Those are the ones she likes to buy when she's feeling uh, she has money to spend on her kids. But she normally before school starts, she'll spend a thousand. She used to spend $1,000 on school supplies because of her kids. Um, she's a high school teacher, but she, as uh, she just can't afford it anymore. She used to do it all the time because they never have supplies. They never have pens, pencils, ugh, it's paper, you know. They have $400 sneakers. They don't have paper. Yeah. I know Keith, I have a favorite, a few videos on it. Wait. Um, good night, Dawn. Wait, Winnie. Oh. Hi, Jackie and everyone. Hey, Apple Blonde. I had that one. I had one, too. I loved it. Yeah, so... Um... <laughs> so we have... My phone is... Um, what's it called? Samsung... 
Galaxy Note. Galaxy Note or it's the Note equivalent. I don't know what they Well, whatever they call it now, but it has the stylus pen. Up, I don't know if they still call it a Note. Yeah, it's called, whatever it is, I have the phone with the stylus pen so that you can pull out the pen and you can write notes. Um, the problem is it takes longer for it to activate and um, Galaxy 22 Ultra Plus, whatever it's called. And um, the thing is, it takes longer to activate and open the app for it to write the note than it is for me just to, to, to literally to get a piece of paper and write something. It's not fast enough. <laughs> and then, so I'm like, great, this is because it's not working for me. <laughs> Have y'all seen the new agenda that's digital and connects to Alexa and your phone and shares all information between all platforms? I'm thinking that sounds awesome. Now, I want the one, I think I've seen it on the Kindles. I think it's a Kindle, or it's not a Kindle, like a reading Kindle, but it's one of their tablets where you can write, literally just write with the stylus, and it's supposed to feel like and look like paper. I want that one. Um, you know it doesn't crash. Pen and paper. Yes, it doesn't take a charge. You don't have to have an outlet. It always works most of the time unless it gets wet. <laughs> I don't trust Alexa. I trust Alexa. Well, okay, maybe. I. She lies to me every morning when I ask about the weather, but I blame the weather, not Alexa. She's actually telling me the truth. <laughs> I just th I just keep saying she's lying to me because I don't like to know how cold it is. Um, but I lose, lose pieces of paper all the time, says Keith. Um, I'm like, great, another thing for my husband and I to ignore. <laughs> I don't have Alexa, Miss Jelly, says Monarch. Miss Jelly, she's a bee, but she runs my life and home, literally. She runs ours, too. Our lights, our security system, I mean everything. <laughs> it's all tied together. We would be lost without her. The nanny came for our dog. I mean, everything runs off that platform. Um, James, if James could wire the whole house to be, like, the Jetsons, like the doors open automatically and all the lights turn on automatically, he would. If he could get the lawnmower that he could just use the controller to mow the lawn, he would. I mean, he has a drone. Every new electronic item that he could somehow manage to make work in our household, he'd do it. <laughs> Who runs the world? Paper. <laughs> oh. Steph says, me neither. Nothing like having a surveillance device in your home. <laughs> I work for the state. When we take the state vehicles out, surveillance devices everywhere. <laughs> the part that bugs me, though, is it beeps at you if something gets too near you. And it's actually distracting. It's supposed to help you, but it scares me because I forget it's there because I don't have one on my car, you know. Job kind of depends on power. I work for Xerox. That's so cool. The power of paper. Um, okay, then I want to know this. Why is paper still made out of wood pulp and not bamboo? Because bamboo is more plentiful. Like, why don't you just grow bamboo and make bamboo the paper source versus using, you know, wood pulp? I used to do a bunch of gas and oil mapping, and part of our mapping also was for forestry and logging. And uh, it's very interesting. Lots of forest out there just for logging for paper. Siri still thinks, still tries to talk to me even though I deactivated. <laughs> I don't even allow Siri to be turned on, says Steph. Craig says she. She cranks my car for me 15 minutes before I... That, she can do that? I didn't know you could do that. James, do you know you could do that? Program Siri to turn on your car remotely? I mean, your car has Not a tech. Car, I mean, our car's too... Our, it's an old car, but Not if we had a guy. newer car... <laughs> um, oh, Jackie, wood pulp, because there's so much darn money in wood pulp. <laughs> Um, there's no old money in bamboo. That makes sense. Well behaved wallet. Because bamboo is actually a lot faster to grow. It, it's a grass, not a wood. And it's just, you know. Okay, Craig. 
kidney stone. Whoo, thank goodness. That's, oh my god, poor Winnie, I'm so sorry. Um, be, even though, of course, it would be more economical and better for the environment. Yeah, well, I mean, bamboo is like a miracle plant. <laughs> it's like, why aren't we using this more often for everything, for textiles and building, building and just everything? Uh, no, Winnie! That's start a bamboo farm, says Grace. Uh, yeah, Siri creeps creepy, too. My sister's the same way, guys. My, my twin hates AI. She thinks, she's like, it's always listening. I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> no, no, it's okay, I move quick. Um, it's good, but it was like, why is my side killing me? Man. Grace, this grass. Um, the, I, I watched a couple YouTubers that talk to their AI device while on a video and they will activate mine. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, <laughs> I think it's creepy too. I'm so used to it because James had me kicking and screaming into the modern era. I would still be out without like internet. I would not have a smartphone. I would not be on YouTube. James made me, do you need a chair? Am I in the only good chair? Uh -huh. um, I can move. I can I'll move, I'll move over, James. You're, let me show you what he's doing, guys. Oops. Here we go. He has three monitors up. He's sitting on a little stool. <laughs> um, yes, he he did bring his work phone with our work 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 with him because why not? <laughs> I use theory to make phone calls. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to cover the camera. Um, Oh yeah, they probably can bring us another chair. I offered to move over to the sofa, but no. He's like, no, no, it's fine. I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, they have one. Yeah. Okay. Now he can go at the front desk and have another office chair because this is ridiculous. We need another office chair. Um, there we go. Oh, I'd love an AI robot. James is hardcore. <laughs> well, I think it didn't occur to him to ask the front desk until I read it out loud. And, and uh, James is uh, one of the most caring, considering people you've ever met. He does not like to bother anybody. He does not like confrontation. He is extremely patient. He's almost a saint. Uh, it makes me look bad. <laughs> I have. He has to remind me a lot of the times of Jackie. <laughs> it's like what? I'm actually more uh, spicy and aggressive and can be mean and my tone can be really uh, upset sounding. <laughs> I have a strong Asian accent and I find myself yelling at Alexa sometimes. It's <laughs> sometimes Alexa doesn't understand me and always understands James and I feel like she doesn't like me. And, and James, James is like, no, you have to enunciate. And I'm like, hmm. Uh, Winnie B, you can dress it up Asian if you like. <laughs> Philippines, hey! I love the Philippines. I've not, I have not been able to get there, but that would be cool. They have pearls. I love pearls. Um, it used to be, used to be better now. James, the Saint. Public, I know those stairs. <laughs> right, Craig. Right. James is oh, so uber polite and he's so courteous and he's so saintly and here I am like <laughs> and he's like calm down it's okay I'm like mm. <laughs> I wish I brought the box with me but I wasn't going to do it okay never mind I had two boxes at my house <laughs> and I really want to open them but we were in a rush <laughs> so we had to leave it's like, oh no, we're there. Um, um, I'm always nice to hit, um, marry someone that's better human. <laughs> yes. Oh, it makes it work. That's true. Um, she has helped me greatly with my temper. 
um, believe it or not, and uh, also Prozac has helped me with that, but I can be very negative, and he's helped me become less negative, so that's awesome. It's only taken, like, oh, a good decade. <laughs> um... Don't let nothing happen to the whole I'm moving. <laughs> uh, no comment on this on that stuff, says Miss Jelly. Um, I've always oh yeah. I like that new Amazon robot, but the damn thing can't open the fridge and bring me a drink. The wait, there's an Amazon robot? I wanna Oh, they, they gave you an extra chair? No. Uh, they just said this, I could steal one of the ones in the front oh. to take it back. It's not like there's anybody in the lobby at like 9.30 at night. This actually, this hotel's not that busy. It is Easter weekend. You know, people are places. We're not exactly in the nice part of Houston, guys. Um, <laughs> we drove through the nice part of Houston and I'm like where are we going hun <laughs> it's more industrial where I'm at <laughs> Craig says is that okay um it's called it's called kids Craig says with jelly I need a real doll <laughs> yes invitation only right now oh okay that's funny um Miss Jelly, kids hate me, so they ran off and abandoned me. <laughs> My kids hate me. Oh, no, they don't. They're just, you know, teenage. Well, one's a teenager. They're just not very smart, <laughs> but they're teenagers. The world revolves around them. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the day we can live and like live like Star Trek style and have... An android, yes. Oh my gosh, right? Well, you know what? In Star Trek, there's what, what's it called? A replicator? It can make anything. And you know, nobody ever had dirty anything. But the thing about Star Trek was like, y'all have nothing in your houses. Uh, okay, Data, well, next generation. Like, Data had a cat named Spot. Actually, in Enterprise, um, there was a dog, which was cool. But I'm just like, there's no pets. There's like, this is the most, you're all you do is travel in space and work. <laughs> um, um, oh, did I miss someone coming in? Hey, D, I am on my phone, so I'm getting reading teeny tiny little script, trying really hard not to miss things. Um, I'll be in the woods hunting squirrels. <laughs> like, um, Daryl from, I know the name, TWD, but I don't remember the, Walking Dead. the Walking Dead, he knows, he knows everything, I was waiting for teleportation, I, I'm still waiting for teleportation, I still feel gypped we don't have flying cars, I mean, airplanes are good, but I want a flying car, I love to travel, so teleportation, please, I agree, you know, Walking Dead. A lot of things from Star Trek is relevant. These, well, you know, remember seeing tablets was amazing on Star Trek, and now we all have them. You know, <laughs> it's like when we were, you know, I remember seeing that's so cool. They have ta handheld tablets with text on them. That is so awesome, and they could just download a whole book on a little tablet. And now we all walk around with the same tablets because I mean, when Next Gen was out, we were still using flip phones. Flip phones. Um, I want a thing that charges itself like solar. I agree. Um, James is a huge proponent for solar stuff. Um, we also have a battery lawnmower. All of his yard equipment is all battery. You're a Walking Dead super fan, Craig? I did not know that.
flip phones were a nod to Star Trek. <laughs> yeah. I went squirrel hunting with a boyfriend once and told me I smell then became because they smell like dryer sheets they're actually oh wow weird we stopped when we lost the f we stopped when we lost the farm and that evil oh, okay talk about the walking dead uh, oh finally the chat opened hi everyone hey wait the chat didn't open oh Hey, Linda, what are you doing awake? It's like 3, 4 a.m. where you're at. No. Gosh. What time is it where you're at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 6 a.m.? I got questions, Steph. Lots of questions. Um, I remember once I was in South... I'm living from my phone, uh, Linda. I have never done this before. I'm having a hard time reading because... The text is tiny. I'm in my hotel room for those who just walked in. Hey, Brianna. Grace, I'm growing up in Malaysia. Lots of indigenous. Ooh, people. Also eat squirrels because lots of them still live hunter gatherer style. Wow. We had an Escalade. Nice ride. We can't afford it now. <laughs> um, is this format the chat wasn't working for me yeah i i barely can read the chat it's like a little bit like it's not even half on my screen i don't know how to make it bigger i've never done this before i did not bring my um laptop with me because i didn't want to have to unplug everything i really didn't think i was going live i didn't think we were gonna get here till 10 o'clock we got here like at 8 30 almost 9. i'm like i'll go live it's chilly um I'm the one here smell this and stuff. <laughs> oh, Bri. Hi, Bri. Um, attack. It's only 2 a.m.? I thought you were... Wait. One, two, three, four. You're only four hours ahead of me? That's strange. It is. My clock right. Oh, that's right. Four, five, six. I think my mom's seven hours ahead of me, so you're only four hours ahead of me. That's that's not as bad as I thought. I'm dying for an EV. Um, wait, they're making a Hummer EV? James, did you know that? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. I didn't know they brought the Hummer back. I thought that was mothballed. Um, you need a tablet. I have a tablet, but I didn't charge it. <laughs> and I left it at home. Because I packed this morning and didn't really care. <laughs> and I'm like, it'll be fine. I'm not going to go live. I'll be on the road. And here I am in the hotel room. I was so bored, guys, on the road. Because I'm like, I'm so used to spending my Friday nights with you guys that I was like, this is boring. Like, I have no one to talk to. Well, I mean, there's James, but he's driving. He's listening to his podcast. And he's concentrating, so I'm not trying to, like, ruin his day. Um, he needed to concentrate on driving. Lots of trucking traffic. Like, 18-wheelers trying to kill us. It's like, stop it. Oh, I need to take my medication. This, guys, is a definitely not sponsored. I paid for this. Um, my medication, I take it on Fridays. So, while I'm thinking about it, James is like, take your medication. I'm like, fine. Um... Hummer EV is huge. Well, the Hummer is huge in general. Um, ooh, Craig, love the Hummer EV. Bigger, the better. Oh, I'm I'm all for the Hummer. Get the tank. After I was hit by a car, I'm all for the tank. Give me the tank. Um, Monarch, yes, it's what I want. The big-ass tank that runs on electricity. Thank you. Yeah, totally. Get the big-ass tank. I want it. I'd, I'd take a regular Hummer, too. Um... PM, I, for my Manjaro, I have, as a state employee, <clears throat> I do not get paid very well. But I had nice benefits. So, unfortunately, though, this stuff's expensive. 
um, but not as expensive as um, other people have to pay. But if I had to pay the list price, I would not be able to afford it at all. No way, shape, or form. But um, I think my copay is $35 a month. But that is the benefit of being on a state worker. Good benefits, lousy paycheck great benefits so you just kind of have to view your benefits package as part of your paycheck because if i had to pay for this separately it'd be a lot worse <clears throat> how much are they craig six digits oh the hummer i don't think they're are they that much with jelly okay a hundred and hundred g it's a hundred and James, a hundred and three thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. Why can't a truck of Olympic just happen to have? Yeah. Right. Right. But it has to be refrigerated, so it's better be a refrigerated case. It falls out of that truck. start at 96. Hey, I want to get the Lightning Ford F150 and that starts at $80,000. So, well, no. 60,000 is 80,000. Yeah, it's 80,000. There's no way. And that's for a pickup truck. A pickup truck. Not a Hummer. Just a, a regular F150. Still, I think they're trolling. We see. Oh, do we have a troll? Um, EV F-150 is, oh yeah, see, EV, $95,000, yes, so get the Hummer, get the Hummer, I'm looking at them, does Lightning has major, oh, the Lightning has a major recall, no, the worst drivers on the road are always the F-150s, no, the F-250s, we're in Texas, it's the 250s. The F-150, the F, okay. Actually, any pickup truck with dually tires, worst drivers. Hmm. This jelly death ray activated. Tell Bill you need a Hummer. Quick! Thing is, he'll probably drive it. Actually, he would drive it. Miss Winnie doesn't like driving. Hey, Brian. It's Mercedes Benz GIS drivers. This, oh, soccer moms. <laughs> I'll take you out. <laughs> That's funny. Maria says, I'm going to say good night. Good night, Maria. Hope you're feeling better. Have a good weekend. Happy Easter. I went to look for Ford King Ranch. Oh, those are so expensive, Nora. Um, <laughs> Brian gets it. D says, I would mind a large vehicle if it was an EV. Um, I think, well, it's always the problem with the EV is still range. No matter what you do, it's going to be range. But the bigger the car, the bigger the battery, the more reserves you have. Uh, <laughs> PM, do you have the Ralph Lauren Mer Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. The Marcy Satchel. I have two of them, and yes, I have, I just, I found one in black. Um, I've been wanting and wanting to get one, and I found one, and I was very excited about it. Um, oh, PM, I love, love Ralph Lauren. They can do no wrong. <laughs> Even the stuff people don't like. <laughs> Um, the Hummer's range is 350. That's actually excellent. 350 miles. That's excellent. I mean, that wouldn't get us very far in Texas, but you know, not everybody drives like we do, but that would get me like, if we, if our range was 350 miles. We used to drive when we were living in San Antonio. You drove what, 155 a day? Yeah. Yeah, so that would be okay. How many miles did we drive today? From. I didn't look at the GPS when you said it. Mm -hmm. 
176, I think. Yeah, we used to drove 176 ish. Well, not including from the office. Yeah. So we drove down from the office to our house. So from our house here, we're about 175 miles. The range is easier here than in Texas. Yeah, everything's far away. <laughs> Hey, thumb up the live, guys. 170 miles. We drove 170 miles. So from this hotel to where we live. Um, and then we also drove in from the office because we had to go to work today. My sister texted me. She's like, are you working? I'm like, yes. And I was training. And then she called me. I'm like, girl, I'm, I'm working. <laughs> um, the people with electric vehicles in my city... Oh, the winter, it, it's hard here in the winter. Yes, it does take more energy. It does reduce the range. There is issues. But hey, look, have two cars. We have three, you know, just have one with gas and have one that's an EV, all bases covered. If it's too cold out, just stay inside. <laughs> that's how I feel about it. Um, huge fan of the Rivian to hell anything but Tesla, yeah, shush, <laughs> they, they're in my state, <laughs> I see the stupid cyber car all the time, that thing is so ugly, <laughs> that cyber truck is so ugly, <laughs> what's your opinion on Chanel, I was inspecting my Lightwear wallet, and oh gosh, oh the quality is horrible, oh PM, okay, so I really want a Chanel, Okay, James Jam showed two of them. My friend Jolie showed me hers, but apparently I forgot how big it was because in my mind it was much bigger than it was. And then I was talking to Craig about it, and he says, No, girl, let me show you what this really looks like. And I'm like, Yeah, I don't think I can deal with that. <laughs> so tiny. <laughs> um, I don't have anything from Chanel other than perfume and fragrances, I do have makeup. So their beauty and their fragrances are awesome. Um, well, I, okay, not all their beauty. I don't actually like all their beauty, but I like their um, Chanel number no. five. Chanel number no. five. <laughs> That's about the extent of my Chanel experiences. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> um, I would love the Cybertruck only if I could mount a turret. Yes, it just reminds me of Mad Max, okay? It's like, this is the ugliest car. <laughs> but, um, no, so I, I love Chanel, the history of Chanel. I like the tweeds. Um, I love the look of Chanel. I wore a lot of knockoff Chanel growing up because I was, I'm part, I'm half Thai, and we just grew up with, you know, I wore fake Gucci's and fake Chanel sweaters um didn't think anything of it never thought about it never thought they i just assumed everybody realized that they were counterfeit and fake i didn't know that they thought they were real and they thought these two little rich kids <laughs> we we were living in um we were going to a very underprivileged school <laughs> we definitely did not fit in <laughs> oh. um i have decided that chanel is way overpriced the crap quality and more that Chanel for today is insult to Coco. Um, that could be true. Um, but you know, even I feel, um, oh, say Craig says, I love Chanel as we all know, but we broke up. <laughs> I can't stand that these insane prices. <laughs> we broke up. <laughs> Wanting to be exclusive. Grace says, I bought my first Chanel bag two weeks ago it's the pre-loved one main france hey that's probably a great bag though from 2003 um same with most luxury brands i agree with you that i think most luxury even the stuff i bought um 10 years ago from coach is better than what coach is making now um and i say that lovingly because i still love coach we have a love-hate relationship but um I can restore my vintage coach from the 90s and the 2000s, and it's, that's, it's just awesome. It, it's, it's like 20, 30 years old, and it looks great. And the stuff I bought five years ago is scuff marks, the paint's coming off. I mean, the paint's cracking. Uh, you name it, it's happening. So for me, it's like, dude, 
Um, so, oh, what did I miss? I bought my first Chanel. Okay, congratulations. What what kind of bag did you did you buy, Grace? Um, same, the most luxury brands. Yeah, have my Chanel unicorn, and I'm done buying from them. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, we want to know, Miss Jelly, what's your unicorn? Um, I know this coach outlet is coming out with very similar. Oh, then yeah. Okay, PM, that's that's why I have a love-hate relationship with Coach. Last summer, they came out with a beautiful canvas and leather trim tote, $700, gorgeous, couldn't afford it, didn't buy it. And um, right now, they just come out with a whole brand new um, canvas and leather-lined uh, collection. And there's a bag in there that looks very similar to the beat bag that they discontinued. I'm like, Coach, I see what you're doing, you know. Um, so I just could buy, if I could buy Coach, buy from the outlet, save the dollars. Um, I have an LV Alma from 97. It's still beautiful. Steph says I don't use any of my Ch Chanel because I'm embarrassed to carry them. Really? No, just people, hey Steph, people don't know. Carry what you want. Carry and enjoy it. You, you bought that to use it. Just enjoy it and love it. I'm Asian. Most people think I'm carrying a fake anyway. And I'm not even kidding about that. <laughs> Um, Birkin, uh, Craig says the thing with fashion now is that they're already planning the next collection before the collection comes. Oh yeah, there is about two, it's about two years and, okay, think about a year of production for things that keep coming out. Um, it's not, um, popular bag is rose gold color. Oh, I like the rose gold color. Um. Monica, I want pre-love small 255 Chanel. Brian says, I am very lucky as all my luxury pieces have been excellent quality. Yay, Brian. Grace says, so quality is less puff, oh, it's less puffy than squares rather than diamond shape. I like that. The quilting only on the flap. It looks so unchanel, so that's my jam. That's cool. Monarch says, I so agree, Craig. It's too much. Um, I know, right, Jackie? People um, think we like to carry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm Asian. I seriously, people, people, here's the thing. People outright ask me. It's not like they're giving you the side eye. They ask. <laughs> it's like, um, my last luxury purchase was, um, was an okay it's total impulse purchase yes bright pink saw it on display and it was passing it oh i want one but i'm not gonna buy that i can't james would get a little upset like honey i would like to buy this thousand dollar leather little case he's gonna be like and what other two jobs are you gonna get to pay for that dear <laughs> james never says no so if i he tries he, he really doesn't um he gives me the this the the Remember, we have goals. Remember, we have these vacations coming up. Remember how much debt we have. We only make so much money. Are you sure you really want to do this? And then I'm like, okay, you're right. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> so, um, um, been cheating on fashion with furniture. Um, me, Keith, and Steph. Um, since I've had to move, I've only bought... A new furniture. Oh, yeah, the rabbit hole for truth. Um, Grace says there are more and more consigner shops popping up in my little part. That's awesome. Well, that's because there's so many good things out there. And I think the only issue people had before was they didn't have access. And I think now with the internet and the consignment shops are using the internet too. They'll take it locally, but they'll also post things online, and that's helping everybody out. Um, I have my mini rectangular caviar. Um, I really don't have a um, PM since I haven't seen any pink bags in your collections. Do you like pink? Ooh, there's a story behind the pink bags. Um, Keith Furniture is getting crazy. Yeah, it's getting crazy. Um, so 
I used to have a pink face. I had a pink Louis Vuitton emprunt leather rose, whatever it's called, ballerina, I don't know. Um, beautiful. It was the second Louis Vuitton bag I ever purchased. I did not understand color transfer issues, and I was so terrified to use the bag. I never used the bag. And um, I also had some fuchsia colored um, fossils, and I have still have bright pink Cape Spade, and I have one pink Ralph Lauren right now. Um, pink is the bag I love to buy and never use. So I try, I tell every time I see one, I want it every single time. And I'm like, nope, nope, Jackie, you never wear them. You never wear them. I am just not that Barbie girl. I love the color. I just don't, I just never wear it. I'll wear pink clothing, but I won't carry a pink bag. I don't know. Um, let me see what I've missed. Um, I would love to wander pre lift shops in Tokyo. Oh my gosh, D, whenever I see Jesse Styles do a vlog in Japan, I'm like, I want to go. It's like, that's the truth. Each with their own spin and their own fad, they're really buying new stuff. And the vintage stuff is made better, even in furniture. It actually had wood. Um, my pottery barn sofa for my was my worst mistake. <laughs> Now you look furniture at state sales. Yeah, one of our sofas, our sofas in our house, my grandparents bought in the 70s. They've been recovered three times. Now it costs a fortune to get recovered, but they can be recovered, you know, because they're still good, you know. My Pottery Barn, um, I could totally relate, like, uh, I paid so much for Crate and Barrel Sofa, hated it. <laughs> Monarch says, oh, oh my god, furniture's crazy. I'm shocked. Oh yeah, it's crazy insane how much furniture. Good, well-made furniture's worth it, but I don't think you're going to find that new. We have custom-made furniture from a woodworker in our town. Amazing stuff. But um, not everybody's lucky to have like a 60-year-old person who has been making furniture for 30 and 40 years living in their city you know we've got very lucky i want to kick myself every other month over that kelly lacus that i passed up on in a second hand shop in tokyo oh really five well, that 5k is still a lot of money you know and here's the thing you'd have to turn it around and sell it and i'd be attached to things Miss Jelly says Facebook Marketplace is amazing for that. Craig says I love antiques, especially wood. I don't think companies use no, I don't think they do anymore. And also if they use wood, I've actually literally this is good fifteen years ago, had had the the salesperson call the manufacturer because a lot of wood furniture in storage, even if it's made by a brand, is case goods, which means it's coming from an international uh, factory and it's maybe repackaged or rebranded, re right? And I interrogate them, what kind of pine is this? Because is this the regular pine? I'm not buying it. And it turns out it was a slow, go slow growth pine out of China. I think it was China. Uh, but it was a slow growth pine. So it was a hard pine, different than a soft pine. So we're sitting there. I mean, I. They had to go back to the manufacturer to find that info before I bought that dresser. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not buying this unless you tell me what kind of wood. I mean, I like down right down to the tree variety. <laughs> um, they don't. They also do veneer over plywood. Oh, it's, it's a travesty. It's a travesty. Putting, putting like engineered wood and then using veneers because when that stuff yeah you can repair veneers but it's still it's, uh, let's not even go there woods like rosewood and black walnut are endangered yep yep if you're into woods you won't won't be able to find it yeah you can't find it now but like even oak and people really just got overkilled with oak they're like i don't want oak i have I have maple furniture, like my sister and I are still hanging on to my grandparents' maple um, dining room table because we can't buy it again if we tried to. It's solid maple. Um, um, 
you are lucky, Jackie. I'm getting a new closet, and they don't use wood. Yo, no, they don't. You would be better. You would do better off going to the hardwood store. Um, not only do they not use real wood, yet yeah, there's there is there's advantages to engineered wood when you're looking for structure stability. And there's some like a closet. I get it, but um, honestly, I'm still going for real wood. Um, also, companies nowadays are using trees that are too young. That's true. Fast-growing young wood. Yeah. Split. Oh, man. Two-by-fours or not two-by-fours. Haven't been for a long time. Um, yeah, we're paying more for everything. Yeah. And the quality is getting worse. It's true. Um, I have bedroom furniture from the early 90s. Um, real oak. I love real oak. I love, I love oak. But a lot of people don't like it because it's that 80s look. Wow, beautiful steps. Are we getting a bunch of trolls hanging out? Um, yeah, looks like we did get a troll. Man, I normally don't get trolls. And here today I've had three. I do need my first comment, Jackie. <laughs> I feel like I need a badge. <laughs> Way to go, Keith! Um, I have solid mahogany bed. So beautiful. I love mahogany. Oh my gosh, the most beautiful color wood. And so much of the furniture that is made today is riddled with... Oh yeah, VOCs. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, solid mahogany is priceless. Yeah, my sister gave me a rosewood... Um, was it a rosewood? No, she bought a rosewood... Um, we went to an antique estate sale, and it was an Asian family. Oh my gosh! Um, so she got a rosewood mirror, and I got her some other mirror she had. It's gorgeous. I'll have a photo of it. I don't know. I think I sent it to Craig, but I don't know what wood it is. Um, so the mahogany would be a fortune today. Oh yeah, mahogany. I have teak, some teak wood, some. I don't have any mahogany, you know. I do too. <clears throat> it's so strong. Yep. I have um, two side end tables that are carved and a coffee table that's carved. My sister has the teakwood dressers. And I have a couple teakwood art carving pieces. I have pecan. My bed is actually pecan. It's, um, we have mostly um, pine, or, but my dining room table is actually mesquite wood. It's very dense. A super heavy. Does anyone here still use dining room hutches? I have, um, I have it. It's holding a bunch of china, <laughs> mostly teacups. <laughs> and if not for dishes, <laughs> um, <clears throat> I thought you would gonna say it's holding a bunch of eggs no it literally is holding china but not not like not like you're thinking we only have one full set of dishes and that's the dishes we bought for our wedding or my aunt bought us for our wedding set oh we use that every day we used to have two sets of china but i'm like this i gave it to my sister wow i cannot keep up with you guys let's see let me scroll up um Keith, i do i do i turned it into a coffee that's awesome craig goals nora i still have a hutch no popular anymore yeah it's not popular anymore i bought it at a state sale yeah i like con to craig that's a great idea craig yeah coffee bar seems like a brilliant idea um I love hutches, especially with glass doors, so I can see what's inside. Yeah. I love them. I've seen a lot of people repurpose. 
you know the classic type, the type with the uh, buffet and then the glass hutch on top. A lot of people have removed, separated the two pieces, and they've mounted the hutch itself to be wall cabinetry. I've seen a lot of upcycling that's pretty fantastic. Um, people who can do woodworking is just wow. Um, yeah, isn't that cool? It's like, and I've seen a lot of people, and they'll use the, the buffet part as something else, and they'll move the hutch part. They've done that with inter, entertainment, entertainment centers, too, because a lot of people now have flat screens that are too big. So people are using old furniture and reusing it. Um, I've seen glass part put on legs. I've seen that, too, Keith. Yeah. Um, used as a book bookcase. See those hutches on top of the buffet is great. Uh-huh. So my mine is not really a hutch in that. Re, re, I think it's more of a it's a prairie style case. So it's not really the you know the classic buffet with a hutch. Yeah, you know. I'll have to send you a photo, Keith, when I get home. I love furniture. I have too much of it. I had to get rid of a lot of it. Most of it now. I'm down to my um, the bare bones of what I can get away with and. Um, keep in our house like I like my my living room sofa now is the stuff that my grandparents had in their formal living room like you know they had the family in the den room and they had actually my grandparents had a 5,000 square foot house so they had like two formal living rooms and like one sitting room so what I'm using my they never thought this would happen um, I'm using it in my living room. <laughs> I'm using my dad's like antique, or not antique, but hand carved teak things as my bedroom side tables. They used to be his living room, you know, furniture, like all the really nice things you put out for the guests because th that's, they had the space, right? I don't have the space. So I've condensed it down to, I only have those options. Like I'm using the best of the best of the best because that's all I had room for. I couldn't keep everything. Um, Beautiful steps. I use mine as a bookcase. That's cool. Uh, more books in China. He says, I refuse to get rid of furniture I love. I guess I kind of feel like you with bags. I never know when I will be able to find. Oh, well, everything's unique. So, yeah, I've just gone. When I, I've just gone down to the part where I keep keeping the ones I love the most. And I try to give away, like, the solid oak table that I gave away to the young couple who had two kids and no table. Hopefully they're still using it. I don't know. Um, it belonged to my great aunt Grace, but my, between my sister and I, we had so many tables. Uh, we have Jennifer has a walnut table in her garage. She has another maple table in her garage. She's using a marble table in her kitchen, like a marble top table, Victorian, because. We just have all this stuff. My grandparents had 5,000 square feet. My dad had 3,000 square feet. My sister has 2,500 square feet. I am the one with 1,600 square feet, guys. 1,600 square feet. Not much room. I kept the antique oak bed and some of the antique maple furniture. And that's all I could fit in there. <laughs> A friend of mine put her china cabinet into her kitchen cabinet. Yeah, that's awesome. Um... Might as well, right? Yeah. I use China, but I also a 98-year-old woman in a 52-year-old body staff. I'm with you on that one. <laughs> um, Bill Steps. All my good China stayed with my house in Lisbon. Yeah. We don't, my mother still has formal dining. I mean, she, her table, her table gives me anxiety. My, my mother has the teak wood table with the teak Louis the 16th style chairs with the teak armoire, you know, all the, all the teak furniture stuff. She has it. Um, and we, you know, we don't. And it's in Denmark, so it's not like it's going to come over to America. It's going to stay with mom and the kids. But she has a huge table. I'm not sure which of her kids are going to use that huge table. You know, mom always had parties. Mom was always the, she's, 
I have, I still have nightmares about my teenage years going to visit my mother and spending all my time, well, not all of it, but for me, it felt like all of it, doing, uh, doing stuff for like cooking and clean, well, not really cooking and cleaning, but you know, when you're having a party, there's like a three day lead up to this party and then all the food prep and all the things that we would and jenny would be like serving the food and i'm just cooking and washing dishes and getting the next course out my mom had staff you know we were just there to help it's just over the summer it's not like it was something she would be doing anyway but for me it's like i hate this <laughs> my sister loved it i would much rather be in the kitchen cooking and washing dishes than having to socialize with um my mom's very highfalutin diplomatic friends, which, yeah, no. Um, hi, Chris. You're not late. We, um, I started late. I've only been on here for like an hour and a half. Jackie, we, yes, I'm in a hotel. Yeah. Um, yeah, use the good stuff. You live one time. There's no do-overs. There's no second chance. Just drink. I have broken $400 cups. I have broken so many crystal glasses, I cannot explain to you. Crystal still gives me anxiety. I will drink wine out of a coffee mug. That's how much anxiety crystal gives me. Um, because it's not my crystal I'm breaking. It's my mother's crystal. <laughs> Using sterling silverware. I used the sterling silverware and then I sold it. We eat with our eyes. Yeah. Um, and here's some of my aunt's tea set. I love tea stuff. Oh, I thought it was your other room. No, I'm actually in a hotel in Houston. We, we drove out to Houston for visiting. We're on the, the bad side of Houston, like the industrial side of Houston. Um, kind of near NASA, you know? Not too close, but near-ish. Closer to NASA than anything else. Um, uh, you know, just use it. If you break it, it means the drink was awesome <laughs> again if i break my crystal i'm cool with it it was my mother's crystal that i was not cool with it she was not happy with me she's always telling me jackie you're so clumsy i'm like okay fine like i was pouring a drink into this cup james watched me like a hawk i'm like honey if you're that worried why don't you pour it for me <laughs> he's like i don't trust you <laughs> Um, I have a huge crystal collection, and a collector once told me that part of owning is breaking it. Oh, I like that, Steph. I am still sad about that one Tiffany cup I broke. I miss that cup. It was a beautiful cup. I kept a saucer. Um, I don't have sterling silverware. I had it. Oh, I, I bought some, and I sold it after, I think, two years. Um, I loved using it. Nobody else did, but then I didn't want my... I didn't really, I had to be hand washed. I was fine with that, but my husband was not fine with that. He thought he was fine with that until the reality was he was not fine with that. Um, I don't have sterling silver. Um, I was that kid who would use birthday money in by like one for, oh, wow. I'll give, I give my guess Ikea. <laughs> One glass is a dollar tree once, Miss Jelly says. Grace says, I love the sound of crystal um, glasses to make when you do cheers. Chris says, hey, I'm happy to use your silverware before you sold it. Most people die and then ha leave it. Yeah. Yeah, I used, I, well, I used it and then I sold it. I bought it. I mean, I bought it from a store. It wasn't family silver. All the family silver have been given to other people or sold other people like estate sales and I wasn't able to buy it so I felt sad that I didn't have any of the family silver so I just bought some and I used it with our wedding china and it was great and then honestly we needed the money so it was three thousand dollars worth of sterling silver I sold for a thousand dollars at least I got the thousand dollars back I enjoyed it for the few years I had it um oh yeah I don't try to keep anything pristine, but I did, I would, uh, every once in a while, you know, polish it up and take care of it. We grew up using plated, sterling silver plate, so we always had to, every time we had a meal, we'd have to 
clean the sterling so i was used to doing it my dad hated it but we we used we we were the ones cleaning it um do you collect your own colored glass or crystal um my sister has the colored glass and crystal she's the one that has the waterford i think it's the liz more pattern or something and she also has some of the cut glass. My grandparents had a whole bunch of American Fostoria, but it got sold with her other kids, sold it. Like my bags, there's not one I own that I don't use. Good, Chris. Um, you love serving trays. My sister really likes the mid modern, mid mid century modern look. She has a lot of the dance stuff. Um. <laughs> um, I like platters for some reason. Serving, but what I like now, growing up, it was big serving dishes. But now it was just. When it was just two of us, I would buy a lot of small serving things at the Goodwill. I would just go to Goodwill and buy random things all the time. Um, random pretty dishes. I didn't care what they were. Um, and glass, and depression glass. And um, and I'd use those little things for serving dishes for vegetables. Asian food has lots of little dishes. It's not like American food. Dance is beautiful. Yep, Jennifer had a lot of it. And this is before it became super popular. Now it's super popular again, the mid-century -modern, mid -century modern, so it's hard to find. Um, I got my first, um, first Fabergé oh, egg the other day. This, oh, wow, that is fancy. Um, yes, Chris. Yeah, don't wait for, don't wait for a, a, a fancy occasion. Hey, Brandy. Um, just use it. Every day is the day you woke up. It's a day to celebrate as far as I'm concerned. Mid-century is your favorite, Miss Jelly. Chris, I actually prefer a time period. I like the 40s furniture look. Victorian. Yeah. Well, at least it probably real old stuff there. Here in America, we don't get super old stuff. Is it bad that I liked? Oh, IKEA is fine. IKEA is very popular for a reason. A lot of people love IKEA. Half of the other furniture in my house is I get, I have dressers and when we couldn't when I didn't have antiques like before my family passed and it was just me and James all over our house was IKEA is what we could afford. We come into Drexel. Oh, one of these days when I have to have my sister come up and talk to you, Keith, about her furniture fascination. My husband, Miss Jelly was a property manager, manager and he was able to acquire some pieces from tenants that abandoned their properties. So that's pretty cool, Miss Jelly. Um, well, other than the abandoning part, but you know, well. Um, I used to have Victorian house. It was beautiful. Oh yeah, wife taking care of Victorian house. Um, well guys, I know I've been alive for like an hour and a half, and that's not, that's a short life for me, but I am tired. <laughs> um, we put an Ikea sectional for the kids' playroom, and the thing is like new after two years. Wow! That's pretty dang good, Craig. Huh. No, I have furniture from Ikea. It's fine. Um. No, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you do um, beautiful steps, live in a Victorian house. <laughs> Go, Gress. Thank you, Keith. Yeah, I'm going to get off this. I need to change clothes, and uh, James is looking sad. And honestly, I'm cold. I want to get into bed and go to sleep. I'm tired. Um, I do not, I will, I don't know when I'll go live again other than on Monday. I know I'll go live Monday. Um, 
everybody have a great Easter. Have a great weekend. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, as always, you've made my night so much better. <laughs> so, so much better. And thumb up the lives if you didn't. And um, I miss my computer setup. <laughs> okay, bye everybody. This is one of those lives I will not rewatch. I'm just going to like, we'll just go with it. <laughs> bye.